hey everyone welcome back to diy in today's video i am going to show you how to make your own rfid door access system using an arduino this project allows you to unlock a door using an rfid card just like in hotels office and other secure areas let's get started and see how it's built let's take a look the components we will need for this project first we need an arduino uno microcontroller board which will be act as the brain of the project then we need an rfid reader module a 16 by 2 lcd display with an i2c adapter and a small breadboard next we will need a 5 volt relay module this is a high level trigger relay we will also need a DC female and male jack. We need RFID cards. Here I have one card and one tag. And a 12 volt solenoid door lock. Finally, to build the circuit, we will need some jumper wires. I have here both male to male and male to female wires. Gather all the components and let's start wiring the circuit step by step. Connect the RFID reader 3.3V pin to Arduino 3.3V power pin. Connect the RST pin to the Arduino digital pin 9. Connect the ground pin to the ground. Connect MISO to digital pin 12. Connect MOSI to digital pin 11. Serial clock to digital pin 13. And serial data to digital pin 10. We need 5 volt and ground for both the LCD and the relay. So we'll make some extra power lines on the breadboard by connecting 5 volt and ground from the Arduino. LCD ground will connect to Arduino ground. LCD VCC will connect to Arduino 5 volt. LCD serial data will connect to Arduino analog pin A4. LCD serial clock will connect to Arduino analog pin A5. Now connect the relay module. The relay will act as a switch to control the 12 volt solenoid door lock. Relay ground pin will connect Arduino ground. Relay VCC pin will connect to Arduino 5 volt. Relay input signal that will connect to Arduino digital pin 7. Finally, connect the power supply adapter through the DC jack. The Arduino is powered via the DC mail jack. And another line goes to the relay and solenoid door for 12 volt. The ground connections directly to the solenoid's negative wire. And the 12 volt positive from the power supply goes through the relays normally open and common terminals. If you are using a low level trigger relay, connect it through the normally closed and common terminals instead. Now that all the connections are done, let's quickly review the wiring.
Once the wiring is complete, let's move on to the code. Connect the Arduino to your computer. First, I will upload a simple program to read the unique ID of the RFID card. The code link is provided below in the description. Before uploading the code, complete these three steps. Step 1. Include two libraries in your Arduino IDE, one for the LCD and another for the RFID. Download both Jeep libraries from the provided links. Then go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Jeep Library, select the Jeep file and click Open. The library will be included. Repeat the same process for the second library. Step 2. Select the board. Go to Tools, then Board, then Arduino AVR Boards, and then select Arduino Uno or select the board you are using. Step 3. Select the correct port. Go to the tool, then port and choose the port your Arduino is connected to. After completing these three steps, upload the code. When the upload is complete, open the serial monitor. You will see the card ID appear whenever you tap your RFID card on the reader. Copy the card ID. We will need it for the next step. Open the second code from the link provided in the description. And paste the copied ID into it. These code checks whether the scanned card matches the stored ID. After uploading the final code, your system is ready for testing. Now you can disconnect the Arduino from your computer and use the 12 volt power adapter instead. Let's test it out. First, I will scan an unauthorized card. As you can see, the system correctly denies access. Now I'll scan the authorized RFID card. Perfect. The relay activates, unlocking the door. To lock the door again, simply scan the same card once more. If you want to add multiple cards for access, check the multi-card access code provided below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Drop your questions or suggestions in the comments. I'll be happy to help.